Hello, my name is Mark Thatcher, and I'm going to be demonstrating EvaSoft's Diagnosis View tab. The Diagnosis View is the tab where we get to manipulate our images or alter the contrast, do investigations to see pathology, things like that. To get to the Diagnosis View, we start at the Chart View, and we single left click the images to select them, the images that we would like to look at in the Diagnosis View tab. I will single click my images to select them and when I am on my last image I will double click it. It will now call these images up into our diagnosis view tab. You can see all of the images that I single clicked at the bottom that I selected and two of the images will show up large in the main screen. We note the green border around this window showing that this is our active image. When I do image manipulations, we will be focusing on this image. To get to the other image, I just single left click that, and then we can see that the green border goes around that image. There are many tools in EvaSoft, and I will show you the most popular ones. First, of course, we have the print button. When I click on this, we can print the current image. We have a draw zoom button, where when I select this, I just click and drag the mouse over a region of interest that I would like to zoom in on, and I let go of the mouse, and it zooms right in on that region. Like Google Maps, I could actually click and just move the image around also, should I want to look at another part of the image. Now I want to bring the image size back to where I was originally, so I'll go to the image size drop down menu, and select fit, and that will snap the image right to the proper size of the window so we can maximize our viewing of the image. We can also just click these buttons to zoom in or to zoom out on the image. Now I'll select a different image just by single clicking the image down in the film strip. It will bring the image live into our active window and I will show you the magnification spotlight. When I click on this tool our magnification window shows up over the image and I can move the magnification spotlight around the image and investigate an image that way. When I'm done looking at the magnification spotlight, I can just click the X here to turn it off. Now we can always brighten or darken an image should it be under or overexposed by clicking these two buttons. When the sun goes up, it gets brighter. And when the sun goes down, it gets darker. We can also manually do it by clicking the brightness contrast gamma button. And then I select the yellow uh, triangle in my window. And as I move it around, the image changes a little bit in contrast. The gray scale triangle here is the optimal area. So you always want to leave the yellow triangle within that gray scale triangle. If you go off the chart, your image will get burned out or washed out. It will become too dark or too light to really view anything diagnostically. Now, the best tool that we have in EvaSoft, in my estimation, is the Carry Spotlight. What the Carry Spotlight does is it makes darks darker and lights lighter. So something that would naturally show up as darker on an x-ray, like an abscess or decay, it will amplify that, making it easier to see. It's a detection tool. So as we see here on this tooth, I will click and drag the carry spotlight over the image, and we can see the pathology under the apex. It clearly gets very dark, and we can see the surrounding bone around it is white or we could look at the decay up in the tooth and the crown, and we can see the sharp contrast. Now with this tooth, it's very obvious to see all of the pathology that surrounds this tooth. So let's find another x-ray. I will click on this bite wing down here, and it's hard to see because it's an incipient case of class two decay, but we can see a little wedge right here for interproximal decay. It's not even through the enamel yet. I will click back on the carry spotlight. And as I bring that over the image, we can see the wedge, the darker shade of gray, shows up much more clearly, thus indicating that we have some carries. 
Now, another thing that you can do with Evasoft is we have our main tools up here, the tools that people often click, but we have many more. The wrench icon is the view all tools icon. When I click on that, many more tools will pop up that we can click on and we can use different imaging filters. We can take measurements by clicking the physical image measurement button. Here I will click on the sharpen filter. When I click on the sharpen filter, it automatically sharpens this x-ray. Now we can see the decay really start to show up here. But now watch this. I will click on the carry spotlight again over the sharpened image and we can see that decay really pops out of you. It becomes quite visible, quite evident. Now I am making a lot of manipulations to an image. However, I am just playing with the different manipulations, the different filters. The original image that I acquired with the EVA sensor still stays saved as the original image in EVASoft's database. At any point in time, I can click this button here to view the original image that acquired, or I could click the undo button just to go back a step. And as I'm clicking the button, we will see that it will undo the different filters that happen that we have selected. Now in EVASoft, I can also click the clear current image button in order to remove that from the active window. And I could simply select another image to look at. It's important to come up to the view all tools menu and play around with some of these different images. You can add comments to an image. You can take angle measurements. You could put a left or a right marker on an image or you can draw lines and pointers on an image. With the rotate buttons, you can also rotate an image should it show up as backwards if you took it on the other side of the patient's mouth. We have many tools in EVASoft, but certainly the popular ones are on the toolbar up here. If we wanted to save our changes to an image, which would not overwrite the original image, it would only add a different view of the same x-ray you can click on the save current image icon. Thank you very much. That is the diagnosis view.